Well, National Guacamole Day is tomorrow and could not come at a better time with football season underway. Watching the big game and hosting game day parties go hand in hand with fall. And one of the biggest players in the game is guacamole. David and Krista from Costa Vida are here to show us how to make the best guacamole. I'm so excited about this. So we start here with we the start avocado. Here with our avocado. That's and you want to get an avocado that's a little bit dark and soft. Is there anything you should feel or anything to know? Um, it's just a little bit soft. If it's too mushy, it's going to be too done and okay. too ripe. So you want to just take the avocado, go around that way. Now you guys have just opened your restaurant, huh? We have. Yes, August 26th was the grand reopening. Okay, over there on Memorial Road. Memorial and Penn, yes. Stick your book. Well... This always you happens, on live, always TV, happens right. on live TV. So you got so you just usually put your knife in there and twist yes, it and get it twist out. Twist it and it comes right out. Okay. So then you're just gonna scoop scoop the uh, the meat of the avocado out like Look so. Look at how handy that is. Yes, right? very handy. Um, we did bring some finished product. You can just put that in a bowl. I like to use at home a, a potato masher. Just get mush it all it up. mashed up, mush it all up. Yep. So we've got some mushed up avocado here. Uh, what we like to do at Costa Vida is put in three ounces of pico de gallo. Okay. which is just tomatoes and onions and cilantro, a little bit of salad oil, some lime. Uh, we put a little serrano chili pepper in there to get okay. that, give it a little bit of spice. Now, this is just avocado, huh? This is just okay, avocado. So, put that in there. so okay. we're going to add this. We're going to add three ounces of the pico de gallo. Okay. Then we also like to put in um, our fresh salsa fresca. And we put one ounce of that. And we're not going to give you the ingredients to that. But um, any salsa that you have at home, whatever okay. your favorite salsa is, uh, you can add that to the guacamole and it'll give it a nice flavor. So then you just stir it on that, mix it up. Um, you want to put a little bit of garlic in there, a little bit of salt, just, you know, to whatever your taste is going to be. All right. This will be good goes, consistency there, right? Yes, nice and thick. Um, avocados are so good for you. It's a healthy fat that we can eat. Um, <laughs> If you knew there was such a thing, um, goes great with chips, tacos, just um, yeah. And you have some cheese here, and this is other stuff you can yes. put on there if you want um, or whatever. Mm -hmm. When we serve it at Costa, we put a little bit of cheese on top, and then a little bit more uh, pico de gallo. Um, I also brought a little bit of our mango salsa. Okay. That's good as as kind of a complement to the to the guacamole. So um, now, do you have a, a tip to keep this f green and from getting? Because I know if you put it out, if you're having a football party or something, it turns it gets brown. Yes, um, you uh, put it in the bowl and kind of knock it all down like this, and uh -huh. then you can put saran wrap in the bottom if you're going to mix it up like beforehand. Uh huh. And um, just mush the saran wrap on the top, and then cover it again, and that keeps it yeah, keeps it from turning brown. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for being here. Maybe you can come again for National Guacamole Day. All right. Or na no, National Queso Day. <laughs> <laughs> I have guacamole. And our queso is excellent. So. Well, thank you for being here today.